Good evening, race fans, and welcome to the Land of Legends Raceway here in Canandaigua. It's a very special night here. You hear me say it four times a year. This is something that we only get to do four times a year, and that's induct somebody onto the Wall of Fame. But before induction night here tonight, and ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'd like to welcome the 18th member who's finally being inducted onto the Wall of Fame, the Captain Vic Coffey. Vic, I'm going to steal a line from Carl Myers. He used to say how sweet it is, how sweet it is to finally weather cooperated so far to get you on the Wall of Fame tonight. Yeah, it's um, it's been a long time uh, the last couple months, you know, um, the rescheduling of it and, you know, and, and trying to find a date that worked for everybody. But, uh, you know, we knew it would happen. And I just got to thank, um, you know, Paul Cole and all you guys, the entire staff here for what they do. I mean, this is a pretty cool deal. You know, a lot of these guys are on this wall. You know, they, they get plenty of recognition, and, and you know, they're, they're in Hall of Fames and all that. But then there's a lot of guys that, at local level that, you know, this, this is important to. And, you know, just you look around, and it's, and it's for more than just the, the modified guys that get all the praise usually. So, you know, thanks to the, uh, everybody here at uh, Land of Legends Raceway, and, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a great day. You started back in 1989 at Lime Rock, uh, the 93 champion there. What got you started in racing to begin with, uh, much less running big blocks here at Canandaigua? Uh, my dad, um, in the in the mid '80s, my dad got back into racing um, over to Lime Rock. They they uh, switched from uh, pavement to dirt, kind of renewed interest in racing there. Um, you know, car counts took off, and uh, you know he got into it, and and uh, from there it just it took off. You know, I I was just a a crew guy on his car for a couple of years. Uh, would take it out on Saturday nights after the races if the curfew hadn't gotten there, and. You know, I'd go out there and run about 10 seconds off of a regular lap time and thought I was flying around the place. But, um, you know, that's where it all started, and uh, it just grew from there. But, um, you know, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been a fun ride. What was the allure of the big blocks here at Canandaigua for you? Well, honestly, when we looked at moving up, you know, um, because I came from, you know, micro sprint racing, the first instinct was to go sprint car racing. But, you know, um, I wanted to go someplace where I could run a home track, so to speak, and, and be closer to home um, and run multiple nights a week. And so we looked in the dirt sportsman, um, and it just made sense to go that road at the time. And then obviously the next step in stone was, was the modifieds, you know, um, once we had some success in the sportsman. So, you know, it just it, it took off from there. I had never really been to a lot of modified races as, as a kid. Uh, we would come here, watch the World of Outlaws once or twice a year when they would come and see the big blocks along with them. But it's really all I knew about modified racing until I, until I started racing sportsman. You, you ran here, you've got great stats here at the home track, but I think what takes you to that next level are those two big wins at Syracuse on the mile. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's career changing. You know, uh, Syracuse mile is, is known, you know, everywhere throughout the country in racing. I mean, it, you know, I've had so many people, even when I race late models, you could be in, you know, Indiana or, you know, Missouri or wherever, Tennessee, and somebody would be like, oh, yeah, you won at that mile, you know, and they, you know, that's, they're, they're rare tracks, you know, there's only, I think, one or two left in the country now. So, you know, it was a big deal, and it, and, and it, and it made me known, you know, notoriety-wise, you know, nationwide, not just regionally where we, where we race most of the time. So, you know, it, 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 changes, it changes your whole career. Talk about this place where so much of your history is here. Uh, I mean, you've ran modifieds, you've ran late models, you've ran late models here at Canandaigua, but what is it that, you know, walking through that pit gate here at the Land of Legends, what, what is it about this place? Well, it's like I said earlier, you look on this wall. I mean, you look at the guys that have raced here over the years, you know, and the guys that are going to be on this wall that aren't here yet. You know, there's, there's several of them in the pit area tonight. And, um, you know, it's, it truly is a different place. I mean, everybody says a win is a win. Um, there's some places winning means more, and this is one of those places. I mean, it's a true big block modified track. Uh, has been for years. I mean, as long as I know, um, there's not that many of them left. And, you know, it's just, it's it's the kind of place that everybody always said, if you can win here, you can win anywhere. And, you know, if you look at the guys that win here, have won here, and, and what they do elsewhere, it kind of, you know, it proves that. You you had a, a great career as a driver. Now you're turning wrenches for the boys. Um, you know, just talk us through that process. And and you know they they have really in these last two seasons have really come a long way. You know they have, and it's it's uh, definitely um, it was easy transition for me, I guess, to turn in the wrenches because I've turned wrenches for. I mean, you know, I used to take stuff apart that I shouldn't take apart as a kid just to see what it was, you know, look like inside if I could put it back together. So it's you know, I've always been mechanical, and you know. So that's that part of it, you know, is is a second nature. But um, the nervous dad part of you know, racing when they're out on the racetrack, that's uh, I, you know, it doesn't go away. It hasn't gone away yet. You know, now it's double, it's double the, you know, double trouble, so to speak. Um, 
But they, they've come a long way. They're doing a great job. Um, I'm probably a lot more critical of them than I should be at times. Um, but it's just because I, you know, I, you know, see what they could be, or you know, and and probably have more belief in in what they can get accomplished than maybe they do sometimes. So um, it's not, you know, in a negative way, but. Um, I definitely ride their asses a little bit. <laughs> well, and I see them shaking their heads over there, smiling at that. Uh, one, of, one of my favorite announcers, Dave Moody, when he interviews uh, his Legend Series, his last question he always asks them is, how do you want to be remembered as a racer here at the Land of Legends? And I ask you that question. How would you, you know, when people years from now are walking by this wall and they say, hey, there's Vic Coffey on the Wall of Fame, how do you want to be remembered? Um, just that, you know, I... Laid it on, you know, laid it, went as hard as I could every lap, laid it on the line. I mean, you know, I enjoyed challenging myself, you know, I mean, whether it be hot laps, heat race, you know, whatever. I mean, you know, going going faster, seeing how fast you can go, you know, I just, you know, I took pride in, you know, and being able to go out there and always be fast, you know, and, and um, you know, and put a smile on people's face. I mean, you have a lot of people that come down there and just, you know, give you that look like, man, I didn't think that thing was going to stay on four wheels that one time. And I'm like, well, me neither, but... You know what I mean? That's just you know, it's just what we do sometimes. You know what I mean? It's you sit back and think about it, and maybe sometimes you know it wasn't the smartest way to go about things, but you know that's that's just that's how I did it. I know there's been so many people that's been a part of it. Is there anybody that that you want to thank and mention here tonight? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously my family, you know, um, has been huge supporters of my racing. Um, like I said, my father got me into racing. Wouldn't be here without him. My mother and my stepfather, you know, have supported me for years. Um, Carl's not with us anymore. It's a shame, you know, he's not here to see this. Uh, you know, and, of course, all my crew. There's guys that race here. Kevin Root, you know, was a crew guy of mine at my Syracuse wins and probably maybe every win that I had here in a modified. Um, you know, um, just, you know, the guys that, you know, everybody along the way. Um, there's been a lot, but, um, you know, there's – it, racing is a lot of times the driver gets all the accolades, but it's as much of a team sport as as any other team sports. And uh, you know, that's I, I always will remember that, and I couldn't have done it without him. What do you say we uh, we pull that off and uh, show everybody the plaque? Sounds great. All right, folks, how about it? The 18th member of the Land of Legends Wall of Fame, Vic Coffey, and Paul Cole with a few words. Here you go, Vic. Thanks for finally uh, show, showing up and bringing Mother Nature, uh, leaving her at home. Uh, the, I, I kid with him earlier. Really, really, he's the only person who knows how to get social media out of the entire summer uh, for, for exposing his, uh, his, his joint on the, on the Wall of Fame. You know, one of the big things about the, the Land of Legends is, is, is got two other you know, pillars that go on. That's family and passion. And, you know, when, when I thought of Vic Coffey as we were, as, we were, as we were making that decision to put you on the Wall of Fame, those are the two things that stood at me the most. You're, you're, you've been here your, almost your whole life. You're bringing your family along. You've got a huge family of friends and, and racers that have, that have grown up with you, and you've instilled the passion not only into them but into yourself and, and, and a lot of the fans out here that enjoy watching the race. I'm looking forward to the time when uh, you get to go to Victory Lane with, uh, with, with either one of your sons or both, and uh, that be, will be, I'm sure, the, the pinnacle of your, your career here at the, at the Land of Legends, and uh, appreciate and, and congratulate you on joining the Wall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you. So while we get the uh, photo opportunities taken care of here, we're going to bring family, crew, anybody that wants to get a picture with Vic here. For those watching on Land of Legends TV and Dirt Vision, stay tuned. Championship night for the Pepsi Big Block Modifieds is coming up next.